Also, police shoot and kill a man on his own property. We update the investigation into what happened in Fort Worth. That's where we start this afternoon at 5. Thanks for being here. I'm Doug Dunbar. Karen's off today. So it all started with a false alarm. And soon after that, this 72-year-old man was dead. Now, two Fort Worth police officers are on leave. CBS 11's Arzo Dose live near Woodhaven Country Club in East Fort Worth with the rest of the story for us. Arzo? Doug, those close to the family tell me the 72-year-old woke up in the middle of the night. He heard his neighbor's alarm and wanted to check it out. So he came outside from the back of his house, coming down this driveway, but he didn't even make it across the street. He was shot and killed right here on his own property. Around Woodhaven Country Club, neighbors know each other. Neighbors are close. He was, you know, he was doing what neighbors do. He was probably checking on, you know, the neighbor that, that the alarm went off. But Jerry Waller never got to check on his neighbor. Police responding to a burglary call shot and killed him in his own driveway. Investigators say he was armed. We heard five shots. Becky Haskin, a former Fort Worth City Council member, lives nearby. They were just rapid fire, one right after another. She says what's heartbreaking is that it was a false alarm. The alarm across the street from Waller's had gone off on accident. Officers felt threatened by the man with the handgun and he was shot. The police officers were so sobbing uncontrollably and very uh, distraught. For this normally quaint neighborhood, the neighborhood is quiet. Waller's death is devastating. His family has always been very involved with their neighbors. They're just a nice retired couple that live there and, and love working in their yard and, you know, having family over and grandkids. And we've been asking questions and trying to get some answers from forward police all day, but we've been told repeatedly that this is an ongoing investigation. Meantime, what I can tell you is that the two officers who responded to this call were not hurt and they've been put on administrative leave. Live in Fort Worth, Arzo Dost, CBS 11 News. Arzo, thank you very much. And